Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetop. And it's gonna be a beautiful day that's plain to see. But I won't be around at home, so don't even bother to call. Cause on a day like today, there's one place I gotta be. Gone fishing. Alright, we're doing some fishing today. You talk to this guy. Rusko, hello there. I'll never get your help for the other cat toys. I've got. You the same dude from the cat toys? I didn't know that. Oh well, I got my son piling the fish. I've got a lot more on my hand. I thought about, I thought about taking a fishing, but I don't have a rod. You gonna have any ideas? Okay, so he wants to fish, but he doesn't have a rod. So we have to go find a rod. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, what's up, guys? Dr. Capcom, welcome back to Final Face 12 International, passed in English by FF Griver. Uh, and that last episode was really, really uh, long, wasn't it? With the 80 rare monsters, okay. Anyway, this episode, we're gonna do a lot of fishing, unfortunately. This is uh, actually the side quest I hate the most in the entire game. But, it's not needed by any means. Only if you want the worm heel blade, of course. Which is very, very unfortunate because uh, the one here, but it's a pretty good sword. It's slow, but it's pretty good. Excuse the crunching. I'm eating a slice of pizza here. Okay. So I haven't, I haven't played this game in such a long time. It's just going to come back to me. If I get stuck, I'll go in my closet and pull up my old uh, Brady's guy. I still have it, of course. I have the special edition, the one with Pinello on the cover. Yes. Okay. Here's our boy, the fisherman. Talk to him. No better than if it, no better. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember. I gotta go down here first. Speak to this old woman or something. Uh, I've only, I've only gotten the worm heel blade a couple of times because. Uh, oh, I gotta speak to this one. Oh, this one. I, I was, I was thinking of the wrong one. You gotta speak to this one. What? Right, you have business with me? That fishing rod. Ah, you know it's. This is wrong, man. Especially for catching buffalo and catfish. This is a real world. Uh, then you have to, like, leave or something like that. I, I was thinking about the wrong fisherman. You do that, you leave off screen for a little while. Now she's suddenly disappeared. What the hell? Where did she go? Okay. Anyway, after that, you just uh, pick up that fishing rod that she had. The Mura, the, 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 the Mura Mata. Hmm. Interesting name for a fishing rod. Okay. Mura Mata, Mura Masa by any chance, but oh well. And by the way, I uh, saw that I've been late with the movies, but in in addition to uh, that last movie completely uh, draining draining me, because m making that three hour movie with the 80 real monsters, making that thing was really really difficult. It took a lot of editing, and my ears just just tired with the headphones. I mean, I was, I was just tired after making that thing. It it took me about a whole week to to make that movie, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty tired after making that. So, and um, I don't think I'm gonna be uploading things as fast as I normally would because you know uh, making a movie every day is just really starting to take its toll on me. All right. Ah, right, you. I'm trying to find a way past time. Have you been? You brought me a fishing rod. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. Thanks, my boy. Okay. We gave him the fishing rod. Uh, it wasn't that big when she had it. Oh well. Uh, so you gave him the fishing rod, and now we can go fishing. Okay. Uh, now this side quest is very, very, uh, how you feel? Talk to him! What the heck? Okay. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, fishing is very, 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 very annoying. Uh, downstream. Basically, you have to input the command that you see to catch that fish, but you can't miss. If, if, if you miss, then, then it'll get away. It, it, it'll get away, okay? You have to do a perfect fishing score to, um, to... You have to do, you have to do, do like a perfect fishing score to uh, a certain number of times to advance to, to the next uh, lake, stuff like that. It's very, very, it's easy at first, but it's going to get difficult later on in the game, right? I mean, later on in the side quest. These uh, first few are very, very easy, but uh, later on, you're going to have to memorize uh, these things. If you want to shot the worm here, Blade, you're going to have to memorize it. That's, oh, damn it, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention! Made a fish. Never heard that thing before. Um. Sometimes it's five. Sometimes it's six. Uh. 
after you get a perfect, after you get all of them correctly, uh, you you have a chance to get this uh this bonus thing. You'll see uh as we're doing the uh, as we're doing the uh, the side quest thing here. So. I'm a little controller tired because I've been playing uh, the uh, the misadventures of Tron Bun lately, so I'm a little controller tired. It's gonna have to come back to me, which is why I'm I'm, I'm, slack, I'm lagging like this. Okay. It was a, 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 a damn stuff. Okay. As I was saying, uh, this uh, fishing is uh, easy at first if you if you look carefully, but later on in the game, later on in the side quest is gonna get very very difficult. And you're gonna have to pretty much memorize uh, every command to pass this uh, stuff. Empty bottle. What am I gonna do with the bottle? Not only that, but in addition to the commands being very, very long and very and random, uh, it, there you go. After you after you get all the right, you have that bonus thing there. Just uh, take your time and get it right. You have to do this a certain number of times to advance to the next uh, level. So. All right, caught all fish. Okay. Quite a catch today. We made a good team, you and me. Okay. Hmm. Looks like there's a note in the bottle. You think? We got a blue bottle. Okay. Oh, this one's saying gonna be a spot. It's yours. Okay. Good. Unfortunately, I have to do this uh, four more times to uh, to unlock the next uh, lake. So I'll do this off screen. All right. You know what? This uh, fishing stuff is so damn annoying. I recommend that every time uh, later on in the side quest, when you, when you get to like the high levels, I recommend. This is so annoying. I recommend saving your game every time you get like a perfect fishing score, because the worst might happen. You get a power outage or whatever. You don't want to. Uh, I can't see too good on this uh, small screen. I need to get a big TV for this shit. You don't want to do these uh, fishing. You don't want to spend too much time because this uh, fishing stuff is very very annoying. It's easy at first, but trust me, it's, it's uh, it's gonna get hard later on. Trust me. Of course, if you're playing the English version, don't don't waste time with it unless you're a completionist. Cause you, the only reason why you would do this is to get the um the third piece for the uh to get the third piece um for, for the worm heel blade. Uh, but thing is, the worm heel blade has use in the uh, instant version because I, I can use it in the trial mode. And that's number five, I believe. While you're doing this uh, first level uh, per fishing scores, uh, you're gonna be um, p picking up these uh, bottles here and stuff like that. I picked up. Um, let me just show you. I picked up these uh, bottles here: black bottle, yellow bottle, red bottle, green. I think that's all five of them. One, two, three, four. I think that's all five of them. There might be, there might be one more. I'm not sure. Oh well. All right, let's go fishing. Now let's go to midstream. As you pass downstream five times, let's go to midstream. Things start to get a little tougher here. Just, just a little tougher. All right, midstream, midstream, midstream. The commands are a little longer, and now you got the L1 buttons, the L1, R1 buttons in the fray. Unfortunately, what the? Oh man, I ain't gonna look at that. And, uh, yeah, see, see, things are going to get hard now. And I don't even have that much time to, uh, die. Damn it. Oh, I hate this side quest. If the top buttons weren't thrown into this, it wouldn't be that difficult. But the fact that they're using all four of the top buttons is what really makes it, makes it hard to pass this shit. So. Mm. Alright, that's two, just three more. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Okay, got that one. And X, triangle, circle, down, square. I finally passed one! Jesus! All right, that's enough of this trip. Unfortunately, I gotta do that five more times! Alright. 
Oh, his wife. Oh, let's be good. 100 gil. Wow. Well, I got to do that five more times. Let me save my game. We'll be back. Okay, you know what? This uh, mini game is so annoying and so boring. I, I literally went to sleep while I was playing it. I was like laying down in the bed trying to play this thing, and I just suddenly dozed off. But I woke up and I think I have five of them now. So maybe, maybe I just need a good, a good nap or something. I don't know. But this is definitely my, my most hated mini game, out of all the Final Fantasy games. Uh, uh, and right behind it is the lightning dodge thing in uh, Final Fantasy X. But yeah, this, this, I, I mean. Maybe it's just not that bad. Maybe I'm just not good at this. But this, this is okay. I need one more. This is just, this is just annoying. I just do not like this uh, mini game. I don't like it. I am not good at this. That's one. That's two. That's three. I got that one memorized. I'm not worried about that one. That's four. That's five. I just did get that one in time. Oh, I got that one. I don't know how I got that. I thought I messed it up. Okay, maybe maybe I just needed a good nap because I woke up and now I, I, I got four of these in a row on this uh, midstream. I, I passed four in a row. Maybe I just needed, needed a good nap so I got to stay focused. But I'm telling you, I don't like this mini game. So I just did four of these things in a row. But... But now this is what things get hard. So, yeah, every time you get a perfect fishing score, save your game, please, because uh, you don't want to get all perfect fishing scores. And then suddenly uh, the power goes out or whatever. All right. So before doing more fishing, let's uh, take care of these uh, bottle things. And you know, in all honesty, I don't know if you actually have to do this uh, this uh, stuff with these bottles. I don't know if if you can actually go go straight to the um, straight to the fishing pole. In the buy-in passes, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, stuff in the way it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Uh. All right. Clues about the blue bottle. If you're watching my LP, you don't have to figure it out. Cause I'm going to tell you exactly where you need to go. And there's our elemental friend. So I guess I'll go ahead and take care of it while I'm here. So this episode has a little action and not just pure fishing. Die. Right. Anyways, I was saying, clues about the blue bottle. Let me see if I can get a scar type while I'm here. Make sure I didn't get down. As I was saying, clues about the blue bottle suggest that the um, which room was that again? Am I in the right room? Uh, no, it's down here. Okay, let me go down here. Anyway, in some form, but the clues about the blue bottle suggest that uh, that you need to come over here, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how these uh, clues work, but when I first did this, I had the British guy to help me, so which is why I don't really care about it. The British guy told told me exactly where it was. You just uh, come over here to the boat and come on now. There you go, faint glow. All right. And it's supposed to care. That's the first clue. Okay. And I did not know that I can get a holy mode here. That might this might be a good spot to form a holy mode in this. And that's a very instance. It doesn't take long to zone from it. You, you can just just zone right up here and go right back down there and get more holy mode. So that might be a good holy mode spot for the internet version. All right. Returning to the Silica Wood, we have to come back up here to one of these uh, places where where we had to talk to these uh, Moogles to get them to make the bridge for the uh, way to the farm coast. All right. Uh. Once again, I don't know exactly. Uh, I don't, I'm not good at being a being a the detective or a case solver, or whatever. These um these clues uh, really got me stoked completely. So I just read the British guy years ago, and I know exactly where to go to get these uh, things. All right. Hey, excuse me, man, please. All right. Anyway, we have to. Am I in the right spot? Uh, yeah, this is the spot. We have to go inside one of these uh, things uh, where the Moogles was, and you'll see you see that faint glow thing again, okay? Uh, was it this one? Yeah, here we go, right here. Faint glow, all right? The green ball shells, and you get a haste guy mode. Okay, so that's actually worth it. But once again, I don't know if you actually have to do all this stuff to get that, um, that ultimate fishing pole. I don't know if you actually have to do it, but I'm doing it just in case. 
Okay, this puzzle here is kind of tricky, I guess. Uh, we're going to do the um, do the yellow ball now, okay? But uh, it says here, 1, 2, 5, 7, and 9. I guess that's somewhat of a of an obvious clue what to do here. Uh, if you know where to go, you have to uh, go to the same step and use those um those windmills, okay? Uh, windmills number one, two, five, seven, and nine. Make sure that those windmills are on, okay? Now you got one, two, then you got three, four, then you got five, then you got six, then you got seven, then you got eight, then you got nine, then you got ten, okay? So notice how three, four, six, eight, and um ten are 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 not there. So those windmills you need to turn them off, okay? Alright, so here in the service step, make sure that, that um that that the ones that are showing on the bottle are on and the ones that are not showing are off, okay? I'm gonna do this off screen because this is gonna take a minute. Oh okay. I screwed up. Okay. Windmill number one is on, okay. Windmill number two is off, but it needs to be on. Okay, we this is where I messed up at. Alright, the windmill, so make sure that the, the, the windmill 1, 2, 5, 7, and 9 are on, since they're highlighted in the clue, and make sure that uh, windmills 3, 4, 6, uh, 8, and 10 are off. When all the windmills are correct, uh, you'll, you'll get another item thing or something like that. Yeah, you heard that? Without one, your one breaks, it shatters, okay. All that for a high either, and a clue, okay. All right, the black bottle here. Uh, don't worry about trying to solve it if you're watching my LP, because I'm going to show you exactly uh, what you have to do. Don't even worry about solving it. It's kind of tricky. It got it has something to do with the alphabet, but don't worry about it if you're watching my movie. You just uh, come back here, back to this place where you uh, did the little extra uh, Easter thing and stuff like that. Come on now, load the game, please. Thank you. You just want to look for a bunch of rats over here. There they are. Look for the rats. Look around the rats. There's a little item glowing somewhere or something. Uh, oh, no. 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 We have to... Oh, we don't kill them? How would I do this again? Yeah, just uh, look around these rats and you'll see a faint glow. And, uh, yes. And there you go. That's simple. And you get an elixir. Not bad. Onyx message? Onyx message? Are we ripping off Pokemon again? That's the... What's that? The third Pokemon reference in this uh, in, in this uh, LP now. First we had Water Spout, then we had Taylor, and now we got Onyx. In case you haven't figured it out by now, the uh, the side quests in the Internet version haven't changed a bit from the uh, English version. So if those of you playing the English version and you want to do the side quests, I guess you, you can use these as guides and stuff like that because they haven't changed a bit. The only difference is the um the trial mode. Which is exclusive to the international version, unfortunately. Alright, now the red bottle, which is the last one. You have to look at one of these uh, things. I forgot exactly which one it was. Uh, which one was it again? Uh, I think it was this one, now that I remember. Uh... It was one of the ones on top. Uh, where's the dead? Ah, here we go. Of course, it's the only one that's not shining or something. Uh, quiet shrine. There we go. Yeah, this one. There we go. And you get a holy mode. Nice. Okay. Now, that's uh, that's all five of them, I think. Once again, I don't think you actually have to do that to get this uh, this uh, fishing pole. But I'm doing it just in case. Now, after doing that, let's go back to the Bahima Passage. Uh, where's the Bahima Passage? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I went there pretty early. I went there early than I was supposed to. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, back in the Bayern Passes, I will meet you back in this spot here where we fight all these undead monsters. I will meet you here, okay? We'll be there in a minute. Okay, and we're back. Uh, 
the clue somehow suggests that this is where we need to come to. Let me go over here first for doing that since I'm playing the international version for a shot at, at the uh, Spear of Low Town. Die! I didn't get one unfortunately. Uh, this is a good spot to get Spear of Low Town right here, which is basically a, uh, a bravery mode. Alright. A new item in the international version. An uh, item that, that does uh, bravery. Very, very nice. Alright, anyways, I was saying the clues the clues has somehow suggested that this is where we need to come. We need to come right here. Alright, and we get a cutscene apparently. <laughs> hey, it's Gilgamesh. He's back. And Ikidu. I gotta fight you again. Let me guess. Too low has it been, my friends. It is I, Gilgamesh. Ah, but do not worry. I am not here to spill your blood today. Are we not gonna fight? Oh, that's the same. I came here in a room that I might find a treasure of legend sleeping in the ruins. Alas, there is no treasure. It is a useless stick I found and nothing more. I wasted my precious time. It bears no hit to the semblance with the sword of legend I seek. Yours for the taking, should such a rubbish appeal to you. The Mata Moon. Okay. This is supposed to be the Mesa Moon, but it says Mata Moon. So they're making fun of the two strongest of Katana Swords, okay? Come, Mikidu. Uh, this fight is actually uh, what influenced me to play uh, Final Fantasy V because, you know, I wanted to see the origin of Gilgamesh and, and hear the origin of his uh, music. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, when I'm done with the Final Fantasy XII uh, Let's Play, I'm going to do uh, Final Fantasy V then, okay? Roar! Oh, I wanted to fight him again. Okay, anyway, you, you need this uh, this uh, Mata Moon thing to uh, share. The, that's where you get that in the international version. You need this to uh, to catch this, uh, this these uh, two special fish in the um, in the fishing game, which is why I did all that. Once again, I don't know if you actually have to do all that bottle stuff to, to, to get that guy to show up there. But I did it just in case, and I got a hasty gun mode, a leak sir, and a holy mode in the process, so I guess it was worth it. Because I'm probably going to be using those in the trial mode. Alright, meet you back on the fishing grounds. We're going to do a little more fishing, unfortunately. I hate that game! Uh, note that you have to actually uh, defeat Gilgamesh in the hunt before you get this uh, Mata Moon thing. Okay, so obtain it from Gilgamesh, Ancient Man Mystery. So, I said before, and I will say it again. Without the hunts, you can't do half of the things in the game. For those of you who do, who do not like doing hunts, that's too bad because the hunts are extremely important. Anyway, once you get this, uh, and, and you've um, did the perfect fish thing enough in the other spot, you, you got the legendary Mata Moon. Now we can, now we can go here. You're getting better than the thing. Uh, now let's go upstream. Now this is where things really, really, really get difficult. And unfortunately, there's a, there's a two of them after this, which is really, really hard. You're trying to catch this, um, this cat toy combat thing. It's supposed to be a 10% chance for it to um, appear when you do the uh, perfect fishing thing. So unfortunately, you have to do perfect fishing to get it. That's very, very unfortunate. Um, but if you if you keep doing it, it'll show up eventually. So just just keep doing this thing until you get enough uh, perfect fishing scores, and eventually uh, you get your cat toy thing, and then you can go to the next uh, level. All right? We seen that one before. Okay, I'm not worried about that one. Oh boy, that's a hard one right there. I guess if you stay here for an hour or two. Eventually, these things will, uh, you'll like memorize uh, these, uh, these uh, things here, okay? I got that one. Okay, that one's not too difficult. Um, okay, got that one. I hate when it goes up and down like that, because, uh, when it goes up and down, uh, you don't have a lot of time to uh, get it. When it's going side to side like that, you've got time, so take your time with those. But when it's going up and down, make sure that you um, get it done really quickly. When it's going uh, left or right, you, you can actually take your time with that, make sure you don't miss it. Alright. 
Uh, that's actually three times now that I've gotten a perfect physical. So let me go back and say my game. I don't know exactly how many times I gotta do this. I think I gotta do it ten times. I don't know exactly how many times I gotta do it, but oh well. I mean, I have to admit that I love fishing, but uh, but I don't like this uh, mini game. My favorite, my favorite fishing game is um. My favorite fishing game ever is a uh, Bass Masters Classic. The regular one and the Pro Edition on uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Uh, my first fishing game was a uh, Super Black Bass. Then I played a uh, Bass Things uh, Black Bass where you use a uh, Hank, where you go against Hank Parker and stuff like that. But my favorite fishing game is hands down Bass Masters Classic, the uh, Frost Man. Okay. I love I love the music in that game, and I love how uh, when you're fighting a fish, the music changes, and it's just really really cool. I love that. Uh, in case you haven't figured out, uh, my favorite fishing show is hand down as hands down uh, build dances outdoors because uh, watching a uh, build dance outdoors really made me a better bass fisherman. So yes, yes, Dark Kepler loves going fishing. I love fishing. Okay, in case you haven't figured that out by now. Um. All right. Uh, ah damn, messed up. You know what? Speaking of Bass Masters Classic uh, on Super Nintendo, it's it's hard to catch up longest in that game. Uh, the Sega Genesis version of uh, Bass Masters Classic, uh, you can it's easy to catch up longest in that game because uh, when you buy the uh, the Super uh, Fish Finder, um, the boat will say big old bass, and uh, if you fish in that spot, you'll most likely find a lunker in that spot. But on the Super Nintendo version, it's like impossible to find a lunker in on those games. So. If uh, those of you who are fish maniacs like I am, if you're good at finding lunkers on on Bass Masters Classic Pro Edition on a Super Nintendo version, please tell me how to do that. And somehow I got a perfect fishing score while I was uh, doing that, while I was talking about Bass Masters Classic. So yeah, just uh, just keep getting a uh, perfect fishing scores here on the uh, on the upstream on the uh, upstream, and you will get that cat toy thing eventually. I don't know if it's random or if you gotta do this a certain number of times. I don't know exactly how this works, but just uh, keep doing it, and uh, you'll get it eventually. Compact. After about an hour of fishing, I finally have it. So you're gonna be here for a very, very, very long time. Now then, when you get that thing, save your game, please. Yes, I it took about an hour to, to, to catch that cat toy thing. Is it possible to get that on the first uh, perfect score? Cause I I've been here for a very long time, seriously. Okay, but we're not done yet, of course. This is where things really start to get annoying. And suddenly a uh, cat toy appears out of nowhere. Now that we've caught that cat toy thing, we can go to uh, a new spot that only the cat toy knows. We can go to Hidden Shoals, okay? Uh, this is uh, almost l like the last one. Some of the commands are repeat, if, if memory serves me. Uh, but the thing is, every time you uh, get one right, you'll see a little cat toy thing appear on the screen, and that's going to get very, very annoying. Uh, just like the last one, you have to keep fishing until you eventually uh, get this uh, cat toy thing. Hopefully, it won't take too long. All right. When you get it, uh, you'll automatically know uh, when you get this uh, cat toy thing because you see about twenty cat toys on the boat. So.
Thank you! Okay. Yeah, you'll know exactly when you get this because you'll see all these cat doors in the boat. So you'll know exactly when you got this. So just keep getting these uh, perfect fishing scores until you eventually get... The cat core to come demitation or whatever. I don't know. Just keep getting the perfect fishing score until you get this. Alright. Uh, Natchi, when you get this thing, save the game! Whew, man, it took me about, uh, I would get that, well, no, I say it took me about maybe 20 minutes to get that one, but it took me about 40 minutes to get the last one. Okay, now for the easy part. Yes, this is the easy part because uh, the thing is, what you're trying to do is, uh, you're trying to get get this fish called the King of a uh, Neighbor, okay? But the thing is, it's going to keep appearing over and over and over and over again until you catch it ten times, okay? Uh, you don't have to catch it uh, ten, uh, five or six times in the same one. Just uh, just keep doing this thing until you catch it for a total number ten times, and then you'll get the thing uh, that you came in to get, okay? Unfortunately, it's a it's a very long command. All right, it, it's the longest command in this uh, mini game. So all you have to do is uh, memorize it and keep doing it over and over again until you get it ten times. Okay, I'm gonna input the command on this um on this video. Okay, I think I'm impressed to say the den of the river lord. All right, it's gonna appear about about t it's gonna keep appearing until you catch it ten times. Okay. And I'm gonna be uh, looking at the uh, the command while I'm doing this. Uh, okay, this is a, a long command here. Okay, but unfortunately, you don't have much time to do it. See that? You don't have much time to do it. Oh, come on, man! Ah, this is hard. Oh boy. Okay, I uh, just I just noticed something. Uh, something I need to note about this fish. Uh, I'm just not noticing it, but the Brady's guy has a very very unfortunate typo in this uh, minute thing. Unless unless it's just wired out. But the Brady's guy it, it says it, it says R1 L2 up square R1 L1 square and right. That second R1 is actually a R2. So that's why I'm missing it. I was wondering why I wasn't catching the damn thing. Because I'm looking at the, I'm not, I'm not looking at the screen while I'm trying to catch this. I'm looking at the Brady's guide. That I still have my, um, I still have my special edition Brady's guide, the one that has all the judges on the cover, and um, it has the uh, the Penella cover too. So I looked out with this one. I was hoping for an Ash, but I'll I'll take Penella for this one. Um, but yeah, uh, according to the Brady's guide, um, after the square, it's R1, but it's actually R2. Unless that's just the way it, it looks in my book. So that's why I've been missing this thing. Now, I'll probably catch it a few times now. But this is tricky, man. Wow, I actually caught it one time. Thank you. I missed that one down. Hmm. Oh, come on, I had that time. What? Oh, okay. Alright, I caught it one time. I gotta catch it nine more times, unfortunately. Yeah, very, very annoying uh, fish here. There we go. Got it that time. That's two. Ah! Missed it. Oh, I got to get this thing memorized. I've got to get that command memorized. This is a very annoying fish to catch. Uh, I think I caught it total three times now. So I'm getting there. 
Oh, I hate this side quest. Played with a passion. There we go. Too fast. What? Mm. Well, I caught it once. It'll add up. He'll tell you how many lives that thing has before you actually uh, catch it uh, officially. There we go. Alright, got it again. Oh, I caught it pretty fast that time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got it memorized now. You're mine! You are mine! You're mine! So, uh, that's the end of this lengthy and annoying side quest. After you catch the King of Nebra ten times, you get the Lucien's badge. Whew. And I'm never coming here again. <laughs> I hate this mini game. It's very annoying. And please make sure you save the game after getting it. So yes, I recommend uh, writing that command down and practicing it and uh, memorize it, because it's very hard to do that thing when it's going up and down like that. Your fingers are gonna get stuck <laughs> trying to put that damn thing in. Ah, there you go. Alright, so we got the Lucerne's Bash and the Mega Bash. I need one more. Unfortunately, I have to get it from Yazmat. So, I guess I'll level up right now and we'll take care of him on the next episode. Okay, guys, uh, just a quick voiceover before I finish the end of this episode here. Um, I went back to the Pharaohs because uh, I, I need to collect two. Uh, well, I don't need to, but I want to collect two um, Trigo Towers. Uh, for my fight with Yazmat, okay? Um, this is a 2% chest, unfortunately. There's supposed to be a fixed way to get the spawn. I'm not good at making this chest a spawn, but once I get the spawn, uh, getting the Trigo Tower is very, very easy. Thanks to the, uh, the kill list uh, RNG, which is what you see me doing now. Uh, once again, I'm not, I'm not going to bother explaining how this thing works right now. I'll probably fully explain it later on. You're just going to have to uh, take it with it until you learn how to uh, do it, okay? It's, it seems confusing at first, but once you learn how to do it, it's very, very easy, okay? Uh, I made a movie on this a while back, but I deleted it by accident, unfortunately. I might re-upload that movie or just make a new one altogether, featuring, uh, you know, everything. Uh, but yes, I had trouble with this at first, but now I fully know how to uh, use this to get items out of the chest, all right? Um, unfortunately, I still haven't learned how to use it to spawn rare chests like this one and the Zodiac Spear and the Hand Mines and stuff like that. But what I normally do is I normally just zone until I get the chest to appear, and then once I get the chest to appear, then the Tracker Tower is as good as mine. Okay, so I got one. I need to get another one. I'm gonna get both. I'm gonna get the other one off screen. Okay. And uh, I'll see you guys on this episode. We're going to take down Yazimat after I level up all my characters to 99. And I will be doing this in the Hemines. Hopefully I'll get the Zoda Spitz appear then so I can, uh, you know. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Take care.